Good day, peeps. Good day. Good day. Hope y'all doing well. I'm doing great. Today, guys, I have a message for you guys. Huh? And the title is Stop Sharing Your Dreams, Goals, and Aspirations with Others. Okay? Again, stop sharing your dreams, goals, and aspiration with others, guys. Huh? Here's why I'm telling you that. Ever had this experience, guys? Huh? Where you were planning on doing something, huh? Or you were thinking about doing something, huh? And you opened up about it to someone close to you, maybe a friend, maybe a, a colleague or a, a, a cousin, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, some, anybody, right? You opened it up and shared this, this idea that you had or this plan that you had or this thing that you were planning on doing, you opened up and you shared it with them. Huh? And they managed to talk you out of it. They discouraged you so much to the point where when you left them, huh, you ended up not even taking the action anymore or doing, following through with the thing you wanted to do. Huh? You ever had this experience, guys? I know I have. And if I've had it, guys, and the probability of me being the only one who ha who've had this experience is very slim, all right? So, guys, stop sharing your dreams, goals, and aspirations to others. I'm going to give you three reasons why you should stop, all right? I know I did a, a short a while back, huh? Probably in the, in the beginning stages of my channel, I did a short. I posted a short. Speaking of this exact thing, all right? Today, I'm going to give you the long-form version of it, all right? Stop sharing your dreams, goals, and aspirations with others, guys. Huh? I'm going to give you three three reasons, guys. Three reasons why you should stop doing this, all right? The first reason, guys, is that some folks just won't see it for you, Okay? Again, some people, huh? some folks in your circle just won't see your dreams and your goals and your aspirations for you. When you telling them, I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to go here and I want to live there and I want to achieve this and I want to accomplish that and I'm planning on doing this or I'm planning on going this way or I'm planning on moving here. Guys, some folks just won't see it for you, man. Huh? Some people in your circle, some of these people that you're sharing it with, guys, they just won't see it for you, okay? And so what they will do is this, all right? As you share this with them, guys, you know, you, this information with them, what they will do is they will begin to project their insecurities onto you, okay? Again, as you sharing these ideas and goals and dreams with them they'll begin to project their insecurities onto you okay now we all have how much we can endure how much we can take right so when you're telling someone your dreams and your goals and, and your aspirations guys when you're sharing this stuff with someone guys they essentially put themselves in your shoes, right? They put themselves in your position, all right? And see if it's possible to accomplish that, huh? And if they have insecurities and limits, huh? Less than yours, maybe you have bigger ambitions, huh? You're more ambitious than they are, huh? That's when, guys, They'll project their insecurities onto you. They'll, they'll project their limits onto you and tell you that's not possible. And it's not a good idea and you're going to fail and all of these other things. Okay? So, reason number one, guys, is that some folks just won't see it for you. All right? 
and it will result in them projecting their insecurities and their shortcomings uh, and their limits onto you. Okay? I'll give you a quick example. Jay-Z, Mr. Sean Carter, uh, he said it best. Okay? He said it best in one of his songs. Okay? He said, my uncle said I could never sell a million records. Huh? I sold a million records like a million times. All right? And then he goes on to talk about how back in the day, he was having a conversation with his uncle and he was telling his uncle about his dreams and his aspirations and how he's going to become one of the biggest rappers and, and sell millions of records and, and yada, yada, yada. Huh? And the end result was what? His uncle trying to discourage him because he had failed in his pursuit, right? Again, because his uncle had failed in his pursuit, he tried to discourage him by telling him he, he could never sell a million records, right? Had Jay-Z listened to his uncle, huh? he would have never become one of the, the, the biggest music industry guys there is today all right and business person there is today in america all right now i've I've been listening to jay-z's music since i was a kid back in africa all right and he's, he's he serves as a, a big inspiration for me especially now that i live in america and it's to see everything he has accomplished uh, since way back the hard knock life days it's a hard knock life for us. Huh? I used to listen to that like every day, multiple times a day when I was a kid back in Africa. All right. So to move to America and to witness the greatness that he has accomplished from that, guys, huh? all from the music and to even hear him share this story of his huh? is it's a big inspiration for me. So big up, Mr. Carter. All right. So now point number two, guys, huh? point number two, why you should stop sharing your dreams, your goals and aspirations with others, guys, is that some folks are just undercover haters, man. Hmm? Some folks in your circle are just undercover haters, guys. All right. And they, they secretly hate on you. They secretly jealous of you. All right. And they will do their damn best, guys. Huh? They will do their damn best to talk you out of your dreams and your goals and aspirations, guys. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you evolve. All right? As long as you're not doing nothing for yourself, guys. As long as yeah, you're not being ambitious, guys. As long as you're not going after nothing, huh? they're okay with you, guys. They're happy with you. Huh? As long as they feel like they're above you guys, they're okay with you. Okay? They're a-okay with you. As long as they feel like you're not doing nothing, you're not pursuing nothing, you're not taking any steps to better yourself, guys, they help they're happy with you. Alright? They secretly hating on you. Okay? They secretly jealous of you. Alright? And would want for nothing but for you to stay the same or to even be less than them. All right. So that's point number two, guys. Huh? Some folks just don't want to see you do better than them. Huh? They see you as as their competition. Okay. That's why they undercover haters, guys. Okay. They secretly hating on you. They secretly jealous of you. All right. They don't want to see you go after your dreams. They don't want to see you go after your aspirations, guys, and your goals. All right. Hey, brother. Uh, I did a video a while back about why they hate on you. Uh, they'd rather keep you in that small little box. As long as you you that little Timmy that they always known, right? Little Timmy, little Timmy, right? As long as you little Timmy, everything is all good, guys. Huh? The moment you begin to take steps to better yourselves, uh, you will see a different side of them. Okay? So, an individual like this, guys, when you sharing, uh, if you're ambitious, guys, it kind of scares them even. 
Okay. When you share some of this information with some folks, it scares them. All right. A person who's an undercover hater, guys, it scared them. All right. It scared them. And as you sharing with them, they'll pretend to be listening. All right. But all of that, they formulating a plan to derail you. Huh? They formulating a plan to talk you out of pursuing it. All right. So that's number the second reason why you should stop sharing your dreams and goals and aspirations with others. All right. Keep them to yourself and manifest them and work hard on them and let them see your success. Okay. Let the results do the talking. All right. So on to number three, right? The third reason, guys, why you should stop sharing your dreams, goals, and aspirations with others is that some folks just don't care. Hmm? They don't give a rat's behind about your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. Hmm? If it ain't about them, guys, they don't give a rat's butt. Okay? Some folks just don't care about your dreams. They don't care what kind of car you want to drive, what kind of work you want to do, what kind of what what, what kind of house you want to buy. God, they don't care about any of this, huh? Because they themselves probably have no ambition. All right? So they don't care about yours. Okay? And so guess what? Not only are they going to hate on you, huh? But they're going to do their damn best to discourage you from pursuing it. Okay? Like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, if you've ever had this experience where you shared your plans with someone, uh, something that you were planning to do, huh? and you talked to someone about it, uh, you opened up to a friend or a co-worker or a colleague or even a, a family member, a cousin or something, right? You shared with them, huh? yo, I'm planning to do this. Oh, hey, I'm planning to go this way. I'm planning to make this move. What you think? Huh? And they, they gave you all the reasons why it wouldn't work and never even gave you one reason why it would work. Hmm? Again. They gave you a hundred reasons why it won't work out. And never even gave you one reason why it would work. Huh? And then you end up, from that interaction, you end up not pursuing that, that plan. Hmm? Guys, pay attention to folks, man. Okay? Pay attention to folks. Huh? And one way you could gauge who they truly are is their reaction as you sharing these things with them. All right, watch them. The body don't lie. It tells you everything you need to know. I told you all this a while back. Huh? Pay attention to your body and pay attention to people too. All right. So guys, short video, man. All right. But bottom line, stop sharing your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations with others. All right. One group of folks, they just don't care. They don't care what you do. They don't care. All right. Their life is miserable. They're miserable and they don't care about you. All right. The second group of, of folks are undercover haters. Right. Deep down, they're hating on you. Right. They interact with you like everything is OK on the surface. But deep down, they're hating on you guys. All right. Pay attention to these folks. There's a lot of snakes out there. All right. And then the third group of people, they're just not going to see it for you. All right. They don't have the same ambition that you have. They just can't see it for you. And so they'll project their insecurities onto you guys. All right. And pay attention, guys. Anybody that you've ever shared your dreams and goals with, and then they gave you all the reasons why it wouldn't work and never gave you one possibility for it to work out, guys. Hmm? You need to get, get rid of that person out of your life. All right. So let me leave this here. All right. Until the next one. Peace, love, and more life.